By understanding the right relationship between our feelings, thoughts and actions, we give ourselves the opportunity to choose how we want to behave. Your thoughts create your actions and your actions dictate your behaviour. Questions for the mind detective. Help. I'm struggling with FOMO. I really fear I'm missing out in life. Currently in this environment of a technology obsessed population, there is a growing number of people, especially within the young, who are either over committing to something or failing to fulfil many of their commitments. In most cases, the motivation for their action or inaction is a fear that in making an agreement, they are losing the chance to engage in other experiences that could result in greater gratification or personal satisfaction. A common sentiment of those with FOMO is, people with it like to keep their options open. I guess a little bit like cake and eat it. My advice, we should all try and learn to slow down a bit. Most of us are all rushing around in a faster pace than is necessary, which is not beneficial to our best interests. Try to be willing and open to saying no to more things, providing you with more time to commit to things that are more rewarding to you personally. Start to focus on quality of your own experiences in your life over the quantity of other people's experiences. You are not them, you are unique. Decide what your own personal priorities are, then focus on them. Stop chasing the illusion of happiness and start to be mindful, the practice of being present in your own life, rather than seeking to be someone else or lusting after a celebrity recognition. Learn to cultivate and master the pleasure of meeting some mundane pleasures over dreaming of being rich, famous, more popular or attractive. Instead of, instead of spending your life chasing fantasies because you believe you are missing out on something, start to cultivate some gratitude for what you already have in your real life. What you see is often not the whole picture, but a small snippet of a bigger story. So learn to relax, smell the coffee and count your blessings. Try and avoid living your life out on social media, which offers you only a fantasy world. Take a break now and again. Living your whole life jealous and envious of unrealistic posts when you are not involved will only make you feel like a loser. But you're not a loser. You're a winner. You just don't realise it yet. Unplugging from technology for a while, redirecting your thoughts or even getting some help from therapy are all good ways to help you stop worrying about what you might be missing out of. Overcoming FOMO might seem hard right now, but keep trying every day to remember your real life matters way more than living an unrealistic existence in your imagination. To be a rock star, you must do the hard work necessary to get there. Not everyone has the talent to succeed at everything. Learn to be satisfied with what you're good at. Only you can help yourself to feel cool, calm and collected the next time you miss out on something. Let me tell you from experience, the grass is never greener on the other side. So learn, learn to grow your own Garden of Eden and then be the envy of the world, never upset by the world. I am Shirley Yanez and I am the Mind Detective.